The purpose of this video is to understand item weights and the repackaging module. First of all, we have added item weights to each inventory item. These are actual weights as well as a volumetric weight. You will see here we have a factor that can be set as a default, traditionally 3, 4, or 4, 5, or 6,000, mm. depending on whether it's air freight or sea freight. With the dimensions, we will calculate the volumetric weight. But for the purpose of this illustration, we've selected an item without a volumetric weight calculated, and we've entered it manually. This item is also the lot item that will help us on the repackaging function. So it's a 3 kilogram pack of tomatoes, where the actual weight is 3 kilograms, and the volumetric is 3.25, and we could add an image here. So you'll also notice that on that item, I set it as a lot or batch item with expiry dates, which will come through at the time of doing the process. Here you will see we've already done a purchase invoice for these tomatoes. You will see here 100 packs at $6 a pack or $2 per kilogram because it's a three, it's a three kilogram pack. And you'll see there there's 100 packs three kilograms each, and if you had multiple items, you would be able to view the details. This is on all processing documents, and where it works out pretty nicely is on the sales documents, because you can see how much is on a specific shipment. I'll move to a sales document very quickly, although this is actually covered on the, the delivery charge function, but I would choose my tomatoes, three kilogram tomatoes, and then you will see here, I've got a weight of three kilograms, and if I was to choose a different method of delivery, such as weight, it would come through on the delivery cost. Now I'll move on to the repackaging. The difference between the repackaging and the traditional assembly function in Palladium is that assembly allows you to manufacture more than one item from more than one item. And if you set up a bill of materials and you load the bill of materials, you could disassemble which will invert the assembly, so you, the assembled items would be your, become your components, and your components become your assembled items, allowing you to take, say, a 1, 5, and a 10-litre uh, containers into your, a 500-litre drum, for example, using this assembly. The limitation with this is it doesn't effectively manage your batch numbers, and there's no relationship between the components and the assembled items, whereas the repackaging function will not only manage your batch numbers or lot numbers, your tracking expiry, but it will also manage the weights to make sure the total weights are maintained. So if I was to choose my 3 kilogram tomatoes, and I was to say select 30 kilograms, it's asking me for the batch number, and I'll choose the batch number. It has expired, but we will continue, because I've allowed it to warn it requires a comment, so decant or repack tomatoes, and I will put that into 30 bags of one kilogram and 30 bags of, say, the two kilogram with the tomatoes. So 30 and 30. The system will not allow me, and it, you'll see it's automatically assigned the same batch number. Very important. Now, you can decant multiple items with multiple batches. The system will maintain that of the 180 kilograms of this batch, we will have to force the same amount in the two, the same batches to be assigned. So, there's my items, there's my costs. And the system will allow me to record, print, preview for my document. And in summary, that is the repackaging module in a nutshell. Thank you for listening.